In this example, we're going to show relative addressing in Excel and how it works. It's a pretty simple concept, but important when using Excel. So here we have some sales data uh, by quarter, 2014 quarters 1 through 3, and by division, division 1, 2, and 3. We're going to total these. There's two ways to do this. I could do D7 plus D8 plus D9, or do a simple uh, equal sum D7 through D9. Either formula would work. In this formula, you'll notice I reference D7 through D9. Tip here is that if I were to hit F2 on the keyboard, it actually highlights the number, or the cells rather, that I am addressing. Now if I do a copy and paste, by default, in Microsoft Excel, it's going to use what they call relative addressing. So I copied D7 through D9 as a sum and pasted it in the E10 cell, and it automatically adjusted the numbers uh, for the relative location E7, E9. If I do F2 on the keyboard, you'll see the reference there. If I were to grab this corner and pull it, it's the same thing I'm copying as well. And if I look at this formula, I now see it is F7 through F9. That is an example of relative addressing in Excel.